So Hurricane Milton right now is a Category 4 storm. Ginger telling us uh, less than an hour ago it had dropped from a Category 5. But a lot on social media, because it keeps teetering, are wondering if it continues to gain strength. Is an even higher category possible? Meteorologist Ginger Jeffries is joining us now. Ginger, you're really going to explain how hur hurricanes are truly categorized and what this really means for all of us. Yeah, and I mean, the bottom line of Milton is a monster. Hurricane Milton is expected to hit Florida between 10 o'clock tonight and 2 o'clock tomorrow morning as a powerful storm, no matter if it's a cat three, four, or five. But of course, many tweets claim the storm is on track to become a category six hurricane and of course on Monday cat six was trending on social media. So this morning we want to clarify for you. There are numerous sources for this info, all which say the same thing. But the fact is the National Hurricane Center is the foremost authority since they actually set the classification for these storms. However, you can find the scale on the National Weather Service or on NOAA. Now understand hurricanes are categorized based on their maximum sustained winds and we use a scale called the Saffir Simpson scale. The scale Scale starts at a category one, which is anything between 74 and 95 miles per hour. That tops out at a category five or storms with winds that are stronger than 157 miles an hour. So it's 156 and up. That's a cat five. So the answer is no. There's no such thing as a category six hurricane. Earlier this year, some scientists proposed adding a cat six for storms with winds greater than 192 miles an hour. I actually did a story on it at the beginning of hurricane season. There's been a lot lot of discussion about creating a cat six designation and the reason they want to do this is because when we talk about a cat six you're going to prepare a little differently for these massive storms however right now the scale has not changed so again there is no cat six but i'll be honest you know i'm a member of american meteorological society we've been discussing this since 2015 so it's nothing new it just caught fire on social media this week with that hashtag so we wanted to verify it for you